Programmers often face a choice in what language to use. But when it comes to data, the choices are becoming much more blurred and, to be honest, even more convenient, allowing you to, to use the strengths of one language and the strengths of another to come up with an even stronger analysis. At least that's what's happening with R and Python. R has a library that allows the data scientists to access Python called Reticulate. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use it today. Reticulate can be used in one of three ways. The easiest and probably the most basic way is incorporating it within an R script. So for example, I have a object I'm creating using the data set GT cars from the library GT cars. So when I run it, you have this nice section of information on a number of exotic automobiles. But suppose I want to create a Python object where I can use that within a module within Python. Well, if I run uh, the library reticulate and then select uh, one of the functions, in this case, R to Pi, I can have a data frame called GT, in this case is called GT cars Python, where now I can use that data frame within the context of a Python module or a Python script. Um, I, with Reticulate, you can also run a Python script while within the R programming environment. There's a function called pyrunfile, where in this case, I'm running a very simple uh, addition uh, program that I've pre created in Python. So here it's asking, in the actual program, it's asking me to enter values of one and two, and then the function will go ahead and run the script where it's designed to add those values together. But on top of this, you can also use RStudio, which is the IDE typically used with our programming, and you can actually run Reticulate from there. Within RStudio, there is a global option which allows you to look for different versions of Python. Um, and it also allows you to run a uh, reticulate automatically. So the advantage is, is that if you have um, a version of Python that you want to use on your laptop, you can select it. You can also select virtual environments as well too. You can, with RStudio, you can, uh, actually identify which virtual environment you want to use, knowing which modules are associated with it, and be able to have the right environment match up to your needs. Finally, on top of this, you can also run R and Python together within a markdown document, or in this case, Quattro. Quattro is just a variation of, as an updated version of R markdown, but Quattro is designed to have chunks where you, in one chunk you run R programming and in another chunk you run Python. And it also does this relying on, a, an, in the background, relying on reticulate to create, to create the function and run. So for example, so for example, let's say for uh, R, I have my, um, again, I have my data set from GT cars, okay? But then just below, I can have a Python chunk which can take that uh, object and set it up as a data frame within Python, just like we did before. So you may be thinking, why would I want to do this? Well, there's a lot of times where you're cleaning data, trying to get it into the right table and format that you want, and you don't want to redo that for two different languages. Sometimes it's easier to do it for one and then see if you can carry it over to the other. And as I said earlier, there are a lot of libraries and modules for R and Python respectively, some of which don't always overlap. But you might want the option of being able to port data from one area to the other to be able to run it and create the analysis that you need. Use Reticulate and learn how, as a basis for learning how to use R and Python and be even a better data analyst or a better data manager. <music>